everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I have another Hobonichi haul. I did buy a few more covers. I promise this is going to be uh, one of my last hauls for the 2021 lineup. So these are the last two planner covers that I'm going to be adding to my collection and I'm very excited to unbox them. So I'm going to get right into it and start unboxing this cover which I'm sure you guys um, have seen a lot on social media. This is the camp cover. Um, it has some plastic on it so let me just remove that. I was really excited about this cover because I thought the embroidery was very beautiful. Um, and I also never had a canvas um, Hobonichi Techo cover before, so this is going to be my very first one. Of course, I'm going to be moving my clear cover on cover on this so I don't get any stains um, from my fountain pens or anything on it, but this is just so, so gorgeous. I think it is really, really good quality. Um, I'll quickly show you guys what it looks like like that. Um, if you watched one of my past videos, I think it was uh, in September before the actual uh, release of these covers, I did paint a few of the covers that caught my eye, and this camp cover was one of them. I think the colors are very beautiful. I really liked this canvas material, and this embroidering looks so well done. It's very detailed, as you can see. Um, I don't go camping that much, but I just thought that these little things were so, so cute um, that I really wanted to own this cover. So as you can see, there's some trees, um, a campfire, um, like a compass, a flag, this is a guy in a sleeping bag, fishing rods, um, binoculars and things like that. And then I thought it was very cute on the back here. It has a little guitar as well. Um, so I thought that was a nice touch to um, put on the back pocket there. This fabric is very, very nice. Um, the pen loops are also made out of the same material. The pocket configuration is the same as all of the other planners. Let me just check this pocket. Yeah, it also does have the same writing here. This is a really, really nice cover. I'm planning on putting my day free in here, possibly. So I'll switch out from my hydrangea, but I just think it's so cute. What I really liked about this cover as well was the bookmarks. So there's two different uh, bookmarks in here in different colors. So one of them matches the lining. Um, but at the bottom here, there are two leather um, end pieces. Normally, they would either be like circles like this one, or in this one, it is a triangular shape and a rectangle. Uh, but in this camp cover, I thought it was cute because there are little arrows, and one says month, this dark brown one, and then this one says day. So I thought that was very, very cute, and it's on both sides. Um, so I'm going to be using that um, to obviously mark some of my pages. I just think it's so gorgeous. I really wanted this cover and I'm very happy that it's in my collection now. I have a lot of A6 covers now so I'm very excited to um, fill them up with some of my notebooks whether they're Hobonichi branded or not. So so that one I'm going to be moving in immediately and I do have this gorgeous planner to show you guys as well. So as you guys can see this planner is in a box so that means it is extra special and ta-da! It is another A6 planner cover. This one is one of the ones from Mina Perhonen, and it is the Minamo cover. Um, so as soon as I saw this cover, I thought the colors were just perfect for me. You guys know that I really like pink. Um, and I really liked this design, as you guys know. Uh, this one, the Sora check I've been using for quite a long time. It is one of my favorite covers. So I wanted to add another one to my collection as well. Um, let me just take the plastic off. Wow, this is so gorgeous. Um, the material of the front cover is a little bit different. For some reason, I expected it to be like sort of a more canvasy color, like my um, memorial cover, but this one uh, seems to be more like a uh, cotton, so it doesn't. So it feels a little bit more smoother. But I really like the texture of these brush strokes. I think that's so pretty. Um, so there is no back pocket to this planner, but um, I don't tend to use the back pocket if I'm using it as a journal, so like this one, I also don't have a back pocket in it, but I really like all of these colors. These are all of the colors that I gravitate towards, um, greens, blues, and pinks, uh, with a little bit of like neutral colors as well. So oh, I'm so excited to be using this. Uh, the pen loops are leather, let's just look on the inside, and it looks so good. Um, so again, the pocket configuration is exactly the same. It is lined in this really nice pink. Uh, let's just take a look at these pockets. I'm going to keep this one for sure. 
what is Mina Perhonen. So I really do like a lot of Mina Perhonen um, products. Uh, I think the designer, Akira, um, designs really nice timeless things. So that's why I really like um, collecting. This is really, really gorgeous. And let me just pull out the um, bookmarks here. I really like the color of these bookmarks as well. They chose a really nice dusty pink and then a really, really dark uh, forest green as well. And then the bottoms are uh, just little circles, which I think is very sweet. Oh, this is going to be so nice. I'm very excited to um, use this, of course, with a clear cover on top. I'm really excited to add this to my collection because now I have this one, which I think looks very cute with it. Like that. Hold on, let me grab a few of my other um, things as well. So I also have this drawer pouch that has the Mina Perhonen fabric as well. So um, I think they'll look really, really gorgeous all together. How pretty is that? So um, I can't remember the years for this. This one was 2020. This is 2021. So I'm assuming this one is 2019. But look how gorgeous all of these um, covers look like. And then plus this one. I think this one matches the um, drawer pouch quite well. And then the other drawer pouch that I purchased earlier... Um, in the year also looks quite nice together with this because it's a little bit more um, girly and slightly more feminine. Oh, I really like these two together actually. Those are really cute. Hold on. What I tend to do is pine over uh, like covers and other items that I want to buy for quite a long time. Um, so this time I didn't want to miss out on these beautiful covers because I thought they were just so me. So. So I just went and got my uh, weeks that I'm going to be using for 2021. Aren't these colors so cute together? So I think what I'm going to do is have my day free in there with this pouch. And then these two um, are journals together. I'm going to figure this out hopefully before um, I film my 2021 lineup. This video was originally just going to be a haul. Um, but I think I did pick up a few more things. Hold on, let me just go grab them. Um, I also picked up a few other like fun things for my planners. I picked up a new ink. Uh, this is an ink from Rover and Clinger. This is the color magenta. I really wanted a pink um, ink to go in my pink weeks. So this is what the ink looks like. I did ink up this beautiful pen that I recently picked up. It is a platinum collab with Sanrio. It's really gorgeous and sparkly. Um, it is a shooting star. So I've been using it in here in um, my A6 Techo. Uh, this is what the ink looks like. It is a magenta, so it's kind of in between like a pink and a purple. Um, but my plan was to um, use this pen with my weeks here. Um, so I'm happy that I have this together and now it matches um, the Minamo. So I can also use this here in my Minamo cover here. And I also did get one other um, ink color that is quite similar to what you see here in this green. So let me just grab that now. Uh, and the green ink that I got is from Lamy. This is what the bottle looks like. Let me move these out of the way. Um, so this is what the uh, color looks like. I think it's one of their jewel, um, their like jewel crystal inks or something like that. And it is in the color Peridot. Um, I think it's really, really pretty. And like I said, it resembles almost that green um, in here. I think I have an entry with it. Let me just go find it. Here was my little entry again. Sorry, I'm covering up a little bit of information, but um, you guys can see the color over here. I'll try and do swatches in my um, Hobonichis in the New Year so you guys can see what fountain pens I'm using. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll film a currently inked video to show you guys my fountain pen, my very small fountain pen collection and some of the inks that I'm using because um, I really like them. Uh, and I kind of want to talk about them. So if you guys are interested in that, please do let me know. By the way, I did put this ink in um, my green Lamy pen. This is the Mint Glaze, I believe. This green is just so gorgeous. And I did put it in um, a converter, which I purchased um, earlier with these inks as well. So now I'm excited to use them all with my Hobonichis on my planners. Now I have two new covers. Um, I can't decide now what fountain pen to put in each um, cover now because now I have this. But what am I going to put in here? This green will also match here as well. I have a lot of decisions to make. I do also have a few other Lamy pens that I can ink up that I also recently bought. Oops. But I'm excited about I'm excited to um, get some of my notebooks in here. I'm going to put my um, 2021 
a journal in one of these, my day free in one of these. Throughout the year I'm definitely going to be switching in and out of covers um, no matter what because they're all just so beautiful and I want to use them all. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this haul of these two covers and unboxing. Um, I hope you also enjoyed um, the comparison between some of the things. It's also sort of a sneak peek of what I'm planning on using in the new year as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching that. Now that I have these covers here, I'm going to probably finalize everything tonight and film again um, in the next few days. But before I forget, I wanted to thank you guys so much for um, your support and all of your love for the past few years. I've been doing YouTube for quite a long time and um, I'm really glad that you guys are enjoying these videos and we can all have a nice um, chat about all of our planners. If you guys have any video recommendations, please do leave them in the comments down below. Um, I will be sure to schedule them for the new year. I am planning a few plan with me's, journal with me's in my A6. Maybe not a journal with me in my weeks because it's a memory planner, but more like a like setup. I'm planning on pre-decorating this uh, quite a few uh, weeks in advance. Um, so maybe I'll show that on camera as well. So thank you guys again for all of your support and I will see you in the next video. Bye!